Each of us is so certain that we've got the most important thing to do right now. I know, it's so rude. Not anymore. It used to be, but now it's accepted. I sort of wanted to explore how every generation, once you hit a certain age, you become the old fogies and it's the same every time out. And then also what's unique about the differences now. Get yourself to the bush of wick for bourbon and ice cream and transmission. I think technology does make things different in terms of everyday interaction. Everybody's on their phones now. The almond tasting pigs and fruits are made of... I'll look it up. No, that's too easy. Let's just not know what it is. Something always had been intriguing to me about how couples are together. I wanted to explore that in a movie. It took a while to crack it, and I think finding this generational aspect helped me figure it out. In a way, the younger generation is more into the way the 40-somethings used to live. And it both like reminds them of like, oh wait, yeah, I used to love records. Maybe I should go back to that. I need to buy a new desk. You should come with me to the lumber yard. We'll make one. I wanted to explore my conflicting feelings about what's both improved and what I think has been destroyed a little bit by the internet. Whoever the first person is from my childhood, someone I'm no longer in touch with, who contacts me, instead of responding to them on Facebook, see, I'm gonna go find them in person. Okay. Like, make Facebook real. It's like, you wanna talk to me? Let's talk. Well, real was there before Facebook. What's happened in the last 15 or 20 years to our culture based on the internet and social media and how that's affected the way that people both are creative and experience art and entertainment.